it was tra traumatic for everyone. I, I was I was um, woken up half past six uh, in the morning by a, a Fleet Street journalist asking me what it would be feel like to be the first football league chairman to go out of football. Um, I can't tell you what I said. And Brian Miller was getting letters from all over saying, uh, hopefully you don't go down. But I think there was a lot of people that came here that day to see Burnley go down, uh, in all honesty. The, the town itself, for me to say it was buzzing, but again, I think it was the thought of Burnley going down would have been terrible. troubles, who knows what the future will hold. So an absolutely critical moment this in Burnley's distinguished history. And just to complicate things, Orient aren't here just to make up the numbers. They must win if they're to stand a chance of making the playoffs. They've had a very good second half of the season. They too depend on other sides helping them, all the shot and Colchester specifically, but Orient must win to stand a chance. Burnley supporters used to grabbing at straws. Uh, Warren have a goalkeeper, David Cass, comparatively inexperienced. But there's an experienced player, Joe Gallagher, getting a skewed header away for a corner. Look at the attendance there in the B-hole end. Incredible. Pretty packed too in that penalty area. Dangerous moment in the opening seconds. Up goes Howard. It's a good one. It's off the line by young Peter Libra. For Brian Miller's side, so early on, Britain can't hold it up. Well, that was a very, very nervous moment. A lot of players out there, so nervous, so tense, you can almost feel the tension. Fantastic audience, particularly when you bear in mind the home game against Colchester in November, 1,692 cheering throw-ins as if they're goals. Well away and James of course back with the Burnley side at the beginning of this season. Such a difficult season it was always going to be with no money to spend on players. Those experienced players so important to them. Here's Godfrey and that's a tricky one. Neenan couldn't get it and Leebrook just knees it away as Jones came in. So you can see how vulnerable Burnley are. And they must win. Brooks and Comfort. Brooks again, there's so much space for him, too much. Cleared by Gallagher, but they mustn't leave Brooks with too much space. Out by Cunningham and out of play. Comfort. He's tricky, he's quick. But 18 year old Leibrook is doing well here. Good play. Up to another 18 year old, Devaney. Can he hold it up? Not quite good enough because Cornwall's in there hard and they're literally falling over themselves in anxiety. It's not pretty, it's not first division football, but would you expect it in these circumstances? Certainly not. But they have got to get the better of the tension. They have got to control that ball and try and think their way through here. There's occasional patterns to the game, but not much. How many of those are regulars here at Turf Moor? How many of those will be regulars next season? Shipped in well, Godfrey. Cornwall almost got it, run away. Strong figure there, getting it away. Most of the danger for Burnley has come down their right-hand side. Grucock, Britain, but 
it's young Lieber getting forward there well. Wasn't a great cross then, got another height in the middle. It's Rotherway directing traffic. Rotherway into the middle for Malley. Over the top. Well, a lot of big defenders in the Orient defence and uh, Malley was always going to struggle with that one, but that was encouraging. Good move, almost a good finish. who's done okay so far, a couple of nervous moments. Mali, Grucop, Britain over there trying to work a little bit of magic or trying to find a little bit of space. There's not much of that here. It's a good cross. Up goes Smalley. Hit wide by Britain. Well wide. Well, they came to see whether they could survive moments like that. That was, again, young Leebrook as two Orient players came in to kill that one, getting them out of trouble. They're living dangerously at the back. And they haven't coped too well with these Sean Brooks corners. Corner again, that's a dangerous one. Wait by Gallagher. Hooked in by Smalley. Well pulled out by Nina. Good shot. Well held. But retrieved again and thumped forward again rather nervous. Another great clearance by Cunningham, pursued by Phil Malley. He's got Britain just inside him. Lee Brooks out there helping him. Grucock here. And they get the corner. This is good. This is much better. James in for Malley. Oh, that was a great effort. Phil Malley, not renowned as a goal scorer, is much more of a harrier and chaser, but they like that. That was just past the post. Godfrey into Hales and Jones and Cornwall, and that was a glaring miss by Orient. Burnley could have been heading for the Vauxhall Conference there. That was almost disaster. They get away with it. And here's Comfort. It's looking not at all good for Burnley. Great challenge by Ray Deakin. How many times have we said that? Now, here's Liberal. What can they make out of this? Thump forward to the other 18-year-old, Devaney. Holds it up well against Smalley. He's got Britain and Krukop with him. This is Britain. To Krukop. This is Grucock still. Grucock. Oh, Grucock won a goal. What a fantastic shot by Neil Grucock on the stroke of half time. It wasn't a great goal, it was a superb goal. Where did that one come from? Neil Grucock has put Burnley into the lead. It's looking really good for them so far. Swansea as the referee blows for half time it's been a very very tense first half so here we go again a nervous frantic first half but the half time cup of tea must have tasted pretty good because Neil Brucock's goal has given Burnley a 1 0 lead Lincoln are losing at Swansea and Torquay are losing at home to Crewe so pretty good, although the results are also going for Orion. Uh, pressure here, down this right hand side, and uh, a free kick for Burnley. Britain gets into the middle, it's going to be Grucock who takes it. Big guys are also going up there. Uh, Grucock's kick. Oh, he had Britain! Britain has scored the second for Burnley. Would you believe it with a header? Only his third goal of the season. They are two up. Ian Britain. Well, it's a real party atmosphere here now at Turf Moor. Just before half time, they were struggling a little bit. Now they're 2 0 up. But Orient are a good attacking side. They were. 21st at the start of the year, now they're up to 7th, and while they're 
singing and enjoying themselves on the terraces. Beware of Orient. A little bit more cohesive play for Orient in the last few minutes. Brooks gets it forward. Well won by Gallagher. Jones. Wide to the danger man Comfort against Leebrook. He's past him. Oh, it's a good cross. And there's Godfrey. Oh, that's a great save by Neenan. Terrific save. He needed that. And well away by Deakin. Well by Hales, but Burnley should be able to clear that. Bouncing around in the edge of the area. Gallagher gets a foot to it. Vaney goes down the line offside. Where's he from? Blackburn? From a 1986 finish well for the Clarets with a draw at Wrexham with a good home win against Crew. They were 16th in the table then, but then it fell apart. So far, looking good here. They're leading 2-0. Uh, and then I had about uh, 15 reporters all round the box. Uh, so I had to uh, get rid of them as quick as I possibly could and uh, still try and watch the game. Um, but the last 20 minutes or so, agonising, agonising. 2-1 here, and there's a long, long time to go. Brooks, who's been in the middle of most things for Orient. Taking to Comfort. This is Brewcock. Need to settle on that ball and keep possession if they possibly can with the experienced players like James. Doing well to knock it back to his goalkeeper. Keep it down here, that's good enough. And keep chasing. Well done in Britain. If Burnley do drop into the Vauxhall Conference, they'll have the pleasure of playing in the cup competition for the Bob Lord Trophy. Now if the great man were here today, that might be a bit of a talking point. from comfort every time. Jones. It's a difficult one here for comfort. In for Jones again. That wasn't a particularly good one for Hales, and he gets a bit of stick from him. Uh, Jones uh, played a lot for Spurs, he could have done better there. But you can't blame some of the basic mistakes here because the occasion is so important. I'll keep it down here out of harm's way, that'll do. Good shot. was too troubled. We think what it's like for the players, we think what it's like for the spectators, but what's it like for Brian Miller and Arthur Bellamy on that bench? Brian Miller, such a Burnley man through and through. What must he be suffering to see his beloved side struggling like this? So tense, so anxious, but it's still 2-1. News coming through is that the other results are still good for Burnley. So if it stays like this, they remain in the football league. And on we go again, and offside, no. It's Devaney, players racing into the area to support him. And here's Britain. again, Phil Devaney, make it difficult for him, he's done that, he's having a much, much 
much better second half for the young 18-year-old number 10. Here's the other 18-year-old who's had a good game. And Grucock will always be remembered for that goal if the result goes for them. Still the news is from the other grounds that things are looking good. And Orient look as if they might be running out of a few ideas as well. In for Jones, well controlled. It's a good cross. Just away from Cornwall, hooked in. Cornwall blocked. Brooks and held by Nina. Two opportunities there for Orient and Burnley get away with it. They've lived dangerously in the last few minutes. But the clock is ticking away. And they're still chasing. James to a safety area for Britain and Hutton. Penalty! Wishful thinking. Nothing at all. So there's all sorts of twists and turns in this one yet, as uh, Leighton James keeps control very well. Now, Grucock. Grucock's through with a chance. Oh, hits the post! Neil Grucock could have wrapped it all up. Korean come again. Godfrey, again those good deep crosses, and again a great catch by Joe Neenan. Well, the spectators have certainly done their bit, and the players have fought really hard. But what must it have been like for Brian Miller on that Burnley bench? So far, it's so good for him and his team and his beloved club. They know that Lincoln City have definitely lost. Their game has finished at Swansea. So that's one problem out of the way. But Burnley have still got to win this one. They're leading by two goals to one. Still quite a bit of tension in their game, but Orient, I think, are running out of ideas and perhaps ambition. 2-1 to Burnley. It's getting uh, more and more unreal news coming through. The Torquay have scored an injury time equaliser against Crewe. That point could save them. Oh, my goodness me. Joe Nina looks as if he almost lost it. Well, this has been an absolutely unreal situation. There's no way of telling when George Courtney is going to blow his whistle. At the moment, it's looking very good for Burnley. They're leading by two goals to one. It's definitely confirmed that Lincoln have lost 2-0 at Swansea. What must they be feeling as they wait for this result here? Torquay have drawn at home to Crewe, which means Lincoln are bottom on goal difference. Unless Orient get a late equaliser here. So it's not over, not quite. Burnley keeping possession well in what must be the closing seconds. Neil Grucock and Ian Britt, the goal scorers, but they've all battled so hard for the Claret and Blue. And the whole town has really come alive to see them do it. It's been a very, very tense last half hour as Orient and Frank Clark's side have taken over. Well, at the end of it, I was crying with everybody else. It was it was absolute knife edge, and the relief was absolutely enormous. One of those days will stick out in your life forever.
that's Burnley Football Club, isn't it? You know, they've always been very, very well supported for the size of the club. I mean, we're only a tiny club, but I, I, I was only talking about this the other day. Uh, it's arguably we're the smallest town in all the football league. I can't describe it. It's absolutely fantastic. The crowd has been marvellous. We've got what we deserve. I think it's as simple as that. What's the 90 minutes been like? Nine years. But we've got what we want to. We've to build from here. And God willing, we'll have the same support next season. That's all we can ask for. And you hope we're never in this position again, I would imagine. I wouldn't want anybody into this to be in this position. So you can feel for Torquay at the moment? Oh, yes, very much so. I said that this morning. It's been absolutely fantastic. My sympathies go with them. It's terrible. I wouldn't want to go through another 90 minutes like this. But 